Damn, this is a good piano cover. I, I've just been in the mood a little bit for like more instrumental style stuff recently. Like I've been listening to a lot of orchestra and whatever. Maybe I'm just I'm in the mood right now. And like, I, like the Your Name soundtrack is on like half of like is like not on half. Sorry, like half the sa the the songs from Your Name are in that playlist. Sorry, I'm having a stroke. Um, and <clears throat> so I was like, hmm, is there like Your Name jazz? And I didn't find jazz, but I saw this piano cover album, and I was like, all right, I'll take it. Sounds good. And uh, wait. Ugh. And yeah, this is really good. I'm vibing with this. Uh, but anyways, hello everyone. Happy Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. Excuse me. This is kind of gross burp. Uh, <laughs> well, happy Thursday, everyone. I hope everyone's doing well and excited for the weekend, because I'm fucking excited for the weekend. It's been a fucking week. <laughs> but it's okay. Like, uh, can't complain too much, honestly. Things could be a lot worse. Um, ew, what is that? Oh. <laughs> Piece of melted chocolate. <laughs> Or melted lump of chocolate, I guess, better to say on my desk. Anyways, as you can see, we do be back with some, um, through the air. We do be back on this grind. We are working on the, uh, uh, what's her name? Sable and Mabel's house. And, yeah. I mean, since we've already modeled so much for Timmy and Tommy, Blathers, like, all that, like, we're actually, like, super not far off from being done. So I actually might start throwing this into Blender today and start getting the blend file set up. And what the hell is this? <laughs> oh, it's, oh, okay, it's the World Origin, so it's just a, <laughs> a cylinder. Oh, there's a cube! Is, what else is there? It'd be funny if there's just, like, it's, like, Russian nesting dolls. Like, just endless. Um... But yeah. Anyways, yeah, I'm vibing, man. This is nice music. I honestly, when I started stream, was a little bit in a bad mood. Uh, and I maybe really, I don't know about you guys, but like music has the ability to change my mood so, so quickly. Oh my gosh, I'm starting to use Houdini hotkeys, not like this. Um, like. I mean, there's a theory that says something like we listen when we're sad, we listen to the words. When we're happy, we listen to the beat or something like that. Um. Hmm. But yeah, some good music I feel like can like without like most of the time without fail put you into a better mood. That and having a drink. <laughs> but to be fair, I like I'm literally just having a beer and I eat it. I ate it. I drank it with dinner, so like my it's so like diluted, you know, my bloodstream. Did that? Oh, here it is. Looking for my little phone stand so I can prop up my um, phone for references. There we go. Let me find my references real quick. Goddamn, I have so many ref like screenshots right now just because of like I've got like a bunch of random screenshots of stuff that I found interesting for thesis too. So I have to like scroll really far back right now to get my references for this. 
Alright, there we go. Oops, did not mean to do that. Hey Kevin, what's up? How you going? What happened in the music? Okay, well that just took a really long time to escalate, but okay, I just skipped it. Um, you're doing good? Glad to hear it. I am doing okay. Honestly, I was a little cranky when I started stream, but like the good tunes really uh, perked me up. been a week. I actually uh, I actually had my preliminary thesis pitch yesterday and that was stressful. <laughs> Not stressful, but like it was wow. Um, just for context, like everyone in the cohort is gonna do a preliminary pitch at some point between yesterday and the next four weeks. So we have four weeks of preliminary pitches, like six ish people are gonna go every day, I think. Um, or five-ish people are gonna go every day, yeah. And so I signed up for like the earliest one possible so I can start getting feedback. How'd it go? It went okay. I think the pitch content was fine. I did some not great things in terms of presentation because I like I, I know I'm a friendly and outgoing person, but then once I have to be in the spotlight, such as presenting something in front of like a bill, okay, in front of people, like and all eyes are on me, I'm like, I don't like being in the spotlight. So I like lock up and I crack a lot of jokes and I feel like I wasn't as serious as I should have been in my presentation, which was not good, but it's okay, live and learn, right? I gotta just keep working on it. But um, I'd say the pitch itself went pretty good. I'm also just absolutely baffled that it's already week 8 of the semester. I'm halfway through. We're halfway through thesis prep. Actually, you want to see my prototype? Here, I have it on. Oh, I don't have it on this computer because I was facing I was facing some weird fucking build issues the uh, last few days that I finally uh, let me merge these. Why are they not? Oh, is there faces in here somewhere? What is going- oh, it's missing a face. That's different. <laughs> There's something funky going on here. Like, am I seeing this? Yeah. Because it didn't sew the vertices together. Let me add in an extra zero in there. Just They're not actually perfectly lined up. Are you shitting me? Oh my god. That's crazy. Okay. But yeah, oh no, the build issues were awful, man. They were so weird, but I, fi I finally, I fi fixed them. 
I fixed them. Uh, and here, let me. Sh I can show you the prototype. Like they didn't actually take that long to fix, but like they started happening last um, about Sunday. And I haven't had time since then to look at it is the problem. Here, I can pull up the build. Alright, let me... Alright, where's my controller? Yeah, I still haven't figured out a keyboard binding, honestly, for this, because it's trigger with an analog stick, but we'll figure that out eventually, but I don't find that super important right now, honestly. If my game never ends up supporting a keyboard, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Here, let me pause this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, look at him! He's got so much animation now, by the way. I don't know when the last time I showed him on stream was, but he's just a dude, like, the bow is animated, and his body has a little wavy effect on him. But yeah, I had to replace these trees, because these trees were bugging out. But yeah, I hide. And you can- I continued this prototype. Yeah, I did in a- not in a sense, I just straight up did. Uh, I have another prototype kind of relate. Oh, you can get out of the map. Oh, you can't. Okay. I have another prototype that's kind of similar to this, but it's a different watering mechanic. But yeah, it's still the same like premise. Um, I mean, I've been doing a lot of crazy shit prototypes in my other class, but for my more business uh, professionalism oriented class, I've been using this prototype because it's like a little further along, right? Yeah, there's a rendering issue there. I don't know why there's no terrain hole. Uh, yeah, I got different sounds for the water co the water coming in and out. And now he does like a dip forward, the bucket rotates to face the player, which I know looks a little strange, but that means that right whenever he collects water, like it'll come out from the right correct side of the bucket and little particle effects. <laughs> uh, yeah, I made him more chunky too. And yeah, so I added different sounds, so winding down, and there's a splash, and now when you wind up, there's a bloop sound. I just realized the game's really loud, but it's okay. And then watering. I fixed a couple UI bugs, and now it also only does the action if the character's actually facing the thing. Um, before it was just a trigger box, but now it's like a proper raycast. Little bucket movements, I love them too. I just love this guy. I'm getting really attached, honestly, and I think I shouldn't. I think I'm getting more attached than I should for this early in the thesis process, but he water. And now it's fully grown. Now watch this. This is really this is new. You pick the flower. Oh, this is kinda cute. And watch this. So this will actually be a mechanic in the game somehow, I just haven't really figured out what to do with it yet, but... Oh my gosh. He kind of looks like he's like sliding around because of like, I don't know, visually, right? It's kind of going crazy. It's kind of cute. Oh, <laughs> He's drifting! Yeah, he got some drift, man! <laughs> Oh, bog! It's still showing that. Okay, whatever. I don't care. Yeah, I know the flower's a little stretched. I think it's just a parenting issue. But, yeah.
Yeah, that's the that's the project right now, though. <laughs> Honestly, like, I'm not an animator, so the animations not specifically took a long time, but honestly took a lot of brain visualization. Um, so interesting learning experience, but... But yeah, those are my more professional, like, I guess standard prototypes. My crazy prototypes are crazy. I'm honestly, I think, in my crazy phase. <laughs> I'm in my crackhead ideas, fuck it, full send phase. <laughs> I really am. I think I'm just in my fuck it, I don't give a fuck phase in general. Like, <laughs> every. A lot of my responses to things, like, recently have just been like, I do not give a fuck. I mean, that was me last week on stream. I really was just big, I do not give a fuck energy. Show me the crazy. Okay, well, because um, I'm still trying to prototype a bit of a, a rope mechanic to tie, right? Because the I want the Wisps ribbon to not just like be a visual cute thing, but I wanted to have some gameplay functionality too. Like, you can use the rope as a pulley, or and there will be times um, when like imagine the rope like or the ribbon like kind of visually tugs at you a little bit and is almost like uh, telling you where to go. Like the the ribbon is some like communicating with you. And it's supposed to, because the ribbon is meant to represent your tie to someone else. Uh, and like, that part I haven't prototyped, obviously. So, uh, because I think, well, rope physics are hard as fuck to begin with, and I think I need to, I would need to program a bit of a custom rope system, like, especially mathematically. And I'm like, well, that's not worth it to code right now, because it's kind of a waste of time. So I literally bought a 30-foot rope. And I tied two of my classmates together on Tuesday, and it was, it was actually nuts. It was certifiably nuts. Like, <laughs> I tied them together, and like I ran two different prototypes because that was like my first exploration of uh, that prototype too. Um, like I, I, uh, I asked them essentially, like, the first one is I asked them both to be doing things, and, like, it's they're tied to get- Okay, here, let me draw a diagram. So in my classroom, we have this big-ass table, right? Like, in the center of the room. And, like, there's, like, you know, the leg stands or whatever that support the table. So I threaded the rope between the here, and I tied them together. And it's like they had tasks on each side, and like they can't cross the center line, basically. Um, so like, you know, at some point I was like, "Hey, uh, like, this person, go throw something away in the trash over here," and like they can't reach, right? Even if they extend all the way this way, and this person is like up against the table, they can't reach, right? So they had to think of creative ways to get the trash into the trash can. And like the thing is though, you know, they're both they both had their own tasks they wanted to do, so they're both pulling in different directions. And so like, you know, and they weren't allowed to talk, you know. In in an ideal world, they wouldn't have even been allowed to see each other. Um, but yeah, no talking allowed. And that created an interesting like almost competitive aspect because they were like, "No, let me do my thing." But I was trying to more like form a a bond like the cognizance that someone else is there, like feeling like someone is there, but not really seeing or paying attention to them that much. So then my second iteration of this was like one the other, one person, I just had them sit on the ground and draw pictures. And the other person I sent on a fucking crazy, ooh, I gave him a lot of weird stuff to do. I was like, pick up all the trash on the side of the room. All the, there was a bunch of chairs, right? Like on wheels. And I was like, all right, all these chairs, I moved them over here and I said, you have to move them from here to here in a singular motion and you can't push them. So they had to, like, he had to use the, the string to, like, lasso them together, like, hurting them. Uh, and... Yeah, it was fucking crazy. Truly. Truly something else. Uh... 
as a proof of concept. And I had another idea this morning that involves bricks! Like, like building bricks! <laughs> no one in my class is gonna want to participate in that. <laughs> in that prototype. <laughs> But actually, let me. I, I will. I will clarify. It's not used bricks like in a violent way. It's like um. It's like a. Uh, I was thinking about, like, okay, so, a brick wall. So like, I'll start. I'll start with like one row of bricks or something standing in front of me, and I'll have someone stand on the other side of the bricks, and like, you can either take a brick and write down like what you think of me, like some perception you have of me, um. And then add it to the wall, or, uh, or you can take one of, because, like, eventually at some point the bricks, the wall will have lots of bricks with stuff written on it, right? Um, so you can either uh, write something and add a brick to the wall, or you can take a brick out of the wall. Because maybe you don't think that, maybe you disagree with this thing that someone wrote and put in. <sighs> but that one wouldn't really work super, oh my god, I just need to see this one second. But holy shit. Um, but yeah, I think that one wouldn't really work super well in like a big audience, right? It would need an audience of people who knows you to an extent, or knows your work or something, you know? Someone, some pe something of people who have some knowledge base of you, so. Um, I don't know, it might be an interesting prototype. So anyways, I might show up to class next week with 50 bricks. I want a brick. Yeah! Build the wall! But yeah, I think that one was is definitely meant to explore the top. Uh, gonna a little bit exploring the topic of like people's perceptions of, of you and whether how like whether or not you disagree with whether or not you agree or disagree with them. Like it's it's building a wall, right? Between them and you. That, and I recently had another idea for incense as a controller, like burning incense, right? Because eventually the incense will run out, so it's like a time-based game, you know? And like, you only have so much time. <laughs> yeah, I'm really getting into the... I think recently in general, I'm quite getting into, like, alt control. So, when I go to, uh... Going to GDC this year, I'm definitely going to visit the Alt Control Expo. Because I want to see some rat. Like the blinking game. Yeah, the Before Your Eyes. I mean, oh my gosh. I love, I really liked that game. It's one of my classmates. It's like his favorite. Like he's, it's like his number one in his prior art. And it was, it's such a good game, honestly. Like it's a super, super genuinely great game. Because the mecha like the mechanic just fits in so well for the metaphor too, like it's one of my faves too. Yeah, like I think it's really a nice example of how like everything kind of ties together so nicely. Also, what is up? Wait, I'm hold up. I don't know my reference. Let me pull it back up. closed out of it by accident.
want to make more games, then do it! There's no one here to stop you. Like... I just gotta say, like, myself as well, like, deeply, I've been in such a making mood recently. And, like, I have a classmate who's like, how do you have the energy to, and I'm just like, I, do, I don't, it, for me, it's not energy draining, it's just like, I need to do this right now. I feel the need that I can't not do this. And, to be fair, it's also maybe because I spend a lot of time at home and by myself. <laughs> I don't have many other hobbies and I don't have much of a social life, which contributes a little bit, but I'm happy. I'm happy. I hope. <laughs> I don't like how I questioned that. <laughs> kind of cursed. Yeah, I randomly get hit with that energy. I put a bunch of work into another game yesterday. Oh yeah? Anything I know? Oh, also, by the way, happy leap year. Oh my gosh, it's the 29th of February today. That's crazy. I just, I noticed because I just looked over it and I saw the calendar in the bottom right. Noticed the time. Okay, I kind of liked this cover, the first one that we listened to. It was kind of a banger. So most of the games I put so long they have a small half a small unit project that I have finished. I have ten pages of document. Oh, that's crazy. Holy, that is a long document. What do you usually write about? Like in like can I just I'm just curious about like what your summary of sections is in your design doc. Like or I guess not summary of sections, but like oh no no, yeah, a summary of sections. Like you have a core loop mechanic section, do you have art? Like I'm just curious. Because I personally, like, because I found design docs, like, don't work super well for me, so I just haven't written one in a really long time. focus on makes sense. So what exactly is this project? May I ask what the prototype 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 is what we bring to the table, game design stats. Ah, oh, okay. What we bring to the table, that's cool. Like, is that from like a business perspective or like a design innovation perspective or I guess both?
business and design innovation, yeah. Smart, 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 yeah. Sounds like got like a really holistic and complete design dog. That's crazy. It's just explaining the math behind how stats work in five pages on different classes and ability branches. Damn, that's eight pages. Made a couple of UI mockups and then took an overall direction. That's fine. That's a lot of work, though. Like, hats off to you for doing all that. Can't wait to see when there's a prototype to play. <laughs> I mean, uh, oh, okay, I already read that. Yeah, that's exciting. Like, it's, it's nice just to make stuff. It feels really good. Something I think about a lot. Because, like, I just recently have been compiling a list of, like, quotes that, like, um... People have said that have kind of stuck with me. Um... I'm chewing a cracker. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like words that people have said, or quotes that people have said that have stuck with me. And one of them really is like every time you learn something, your soul grows a little bit. And well, that's why we make things, I think. Like every time you make something, you. Well, one, for one, you put something that hasn't existed before out into the universe. Even if it's a clone of something, like, you put your, your version of it, like, you wrote the code or whatever, you made an asset, you did something to make it yours. And just, like, I love learning, so... It's why I think I just, like, am always doing something. Because I'm restless. Oh, these are nice portraits, too. Another myth. Wow. That's very detailed. I just want to work with more people. Hell yeah. That's another, like... I think really the nice thing about design is just like getting to work with people. Cause like nothing great ever comes from like just some random person and their ego. I feel like people who, like, just enjoy working alone a little too much, small pink flag for me. <laughs> I don't know, that's kind of harsh, right? Because, like, I do understand for sure that, like, working with others is not for everyone, but it's just kind of like if you're always in your own head, like, don't you want another perspective? I didn't make the porches. No, I know, f I, I know that, but I'm just curious where you got them, because they look nice. What's your pink flag? Working alone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm very lame. I'm honestly such a boring person. Like, I'm lame as fuck, man. 
not very interesting of a person. And, you know, that's okay. Don't really think I need to be. I have a good time, right? Right. I'll just high five myself. <laughs> Walk up to wow, that looks really nice. The UI does look good. False. Everyone is interesting. Well, that's true, but you know, I kind of like being boring. I like living my little life. <laughs> I like uh, taking a nice walk and looking at the blooming trees and stuff like that. Not blooming, but like blooming trees. The trees in LA have been, like, flowering recently, so... You know, I like my bo- I like my boring little life. Yeah, honestly, let's just start getting some of this into Blender a little. Let's start separating the materials on these two. Ooh, that's orange. stuff makes me want to work on it then do it don't let your dreams be dreams don't burn out though humans have great stories in them it's true I mean without humans there are no stories too big in scope because it's an RPG. Yeah, understandable. I mean, hey, right now, you know, yesterday during the thesis pitches, one of the faculty said something really fun. You guys are thesis pitching, not thesis promising. So, like, because a lot of us had, like, a risks slide, like, oh, what is the dangerous potential, like, what is the potential pitfall of this project? And she was like, that's good to recognize, but also, you know, guys, just heads up, your thesis pitching right now. And we're like, hell yeah! Dude, I love my, like, my cohort, like... Oh, uh, wait, this is building floor, actually. Like, because yesterday, uh, right, was the first day. Um... I always want to make these scope, ga scope games. I feel that though. Like I, I very much relate to that. Like I also tend to have like a really big, grand imagination and ideas. And like I've been trying to remind myself to think smaller recently, <sighs> which is yeah. But um, yeah, I like I like love my cohort so much, man. Because like yesterday was the first day of the thesis preliminary pitches, and like. So seven, wait, how many of us went? Seven of us presented. Wait, seven, seven people for the next four weeks doesn't sound, oh, it's actually, it's actually seven across the next three weeks starting yesterday, but because there's spring break in the middle. So it's in real, in, in actual time, it's four weeks, but in terms of like academic calendar, it's, uh, uh, Three weeks, yeah. Okay, I was about to say, the math ain't mathing. <laughs> like, what, 28? That's not right. That's a lot of pitches. Um, but yeah, just like, it was the first day, and like, a lot of really good energy was floating around. Like, every time someone went up, we were like, yeah! Woo! It was like, kind of nice. It was kind of wholesome. And it's like a lot of like, can I get a hell yeah? Hell yeah! Like, it just feels good. 
it's a borderline clown, but we have a good time. Alright, yeah, no, this Zen 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 cover is the best. So we're gonna loop that this one. Sarah. I think this is it. No, that's not it, but this is good too. What? Is there no individual? Love a supportive crew. Yay, love a supportive crew. Hell yeah. I, I do. I mean, like, you know. Obviously, we all have our own lives and we're not, like, best buddy buddies, but, like, I, I really appreciate how close, like, my cohort is. And, like, just how, like, honestly, like, genuine how many people in it. Like, oh, wow, that, that sounded kind of weird. How, like, for the most part, everyone in the cohort is, like, super genuine and caring about others. Like, there's no bad blood, is like another way to put it. Mini mochi rice nuggets are dangerous. Like, they have a really nice texture to them. I think I might have asked this before, we might have talked about it before, but like, when you go to like pick like when you decide like when you are like oh this is really good or like oh this is not that great like what's more more important for you taste or texture obviously both are important but like if you had to pick one
no idea, yeah? I mean, it is a little bit of a weird question that I feel like I never thought about until someone brought it up with me. But yeah, because the person that brought it up with me, they were like, yeah, like, or I noticed, like, I'm like, you can eat the same thing every day, you don't get tired of the taste, and they're like, nah, you know, I like this texture. <laughs> work on this unreal this little unreal game while I wait for art narrative on the mag uh, magus circle do you have another person doing narrative or is it like um, your collaborator <laughs> like uh, like you know the one I'm talking about is it another one cuz I just don't want to dox I don't want to say names <laughs> friend to help out. Nice. So you guys are like a nice, like a three-person team. Magic number. I like a number three a lot. because we have an audio guide too. Creative writing. Your friend from NYU. Hey, that rhymes! Um, <laughs> okay, I'm, gonna, I'm getting annoyed with this. I'm gonna pull up another playlist. This, this playlist has very uneven audio like levels. It's, but we have an audio guide too, but the work spread is quite uneven, which is fine. That's just how indie dev gotta be until sustainable. I mean, I feel like... That's just the nature of like the work being done too, right? But like, because like you also are doing multiple roles, right? You're doing programming and design, right? Your audio guy is presumably just largely doing audio, you know. So. Like, in a situation like that, I'm not surprised to hear, like, you know, you say your audio, oh, like, in a situation like that, it's not surprising to hear that, like, work distribution is uneven, I wouldn't expect it to be. I'm doing a little bit of everything, yeah. So, like, naturally you're gonna have 
because it's also like your natural role on the project is a little different because you know it was like you're one of the people who's like it's quote quote your project to start with too so like if you want this game to get off the ground then like that's kind of on you to put in the the heavy lifting right Hell yeah. But yeah, I actually, I'm, ex I'm super excited to hear the hear it then, because like, I love, I'm really super getting into like, audio in games. Like, not like, doing the audio design myself specifically, but like, I'm realizing I'm like, I could make a game with shitty visuals, but I don't want to make a game with shitty audio. Uh, yeah, but like, nah, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean, though. Do you enjoy doing marketing? Just as a question. I'm not gonna actually use this file. I'm just trying to. Set, um, I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna peek some of the settings just to set it up. Still doing some feelers. Makes sense. Sometimes I like it, but I hate the attention and noise of it for sure. Yep. <laughs> I really feel you there, bud. making art and commentary for people to enjoy and sharing that but I the negativity of online spaces get to me for sure you know it's very toxic I was reading some people waiting on GTA 6 devs today and it made me sad some people really just have nothing better to do with their lives than to like take it out on random people that they don't know and they're never gonna meet that's the thing that baffles me it's like why does it matter so much like, why do you have so much hate in your heart that, like, you go out of your way to bully people you don't know and you're never gonna know, probably? So, yeesh, some people, you know.
Like, how dare y'all speak about my friends that work there, what they do exactly. Yo, 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 what's up? Gaming musician. What does the 48 mean? Can I ask? Unless it's a per if it's a personal question, you do not have to answer, but just out of curiosity. But anyways, how you going today? Happy, uh, Thursday. Sorry for big yawn, man. I'm so tired. <laughs> Genuinely so oh my gosh, I'm so bad at math. Hold up, what's there we go. I'm so excited for uh the weekend. It's been a week. In fifth grade, my computer hacker or computer hacker, where'd I get that from? My computer teacher forced us to put a number in our password for our school accounts, and it's just what I went with. And has followed me since. What are we creating? So we are in the middle of making a little house for the Able Sisters from Animal Crossing. This is actually part of a little series that I've been doing uh, for the last couple months. This was the house we made for Blathers. Definitely would live in a cute cozy library style house. And this is the house we made for Isabel. And we made one for the Nooklings, but it's kind of ugly because I haven't properly lit the scene yet. You know what? I didn't want to show it because it's like really ugly. 
but I'll show it. <laughs> it's like not properly lit at all. And then like, what's going on with the textures? Why? It's supposed, to, I don't even know what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be blue clouds, like Andy style clouds from Toy Story. And like, just there's so, like the UVs are not right. <laughs> Why is the pizza all green looking? Ew, like there's no materials, it's not properly lit. So yeah, it's a little bit cursed, which I have, I've been too lazy to do lighting for it, honestly. So this is epic, thank you. This has been a lot of work. <laughs> it has been a couple, a couple months, I think. Yeah, I think because I'm, I'm kind of getting ready to move on from this particular project soon too. Because what the hell? Oh, because I'm not custom. Because um, I think new 3D modeling project will start soon. I kind of have an idea, like, because like an idea of something original. I mean, this is still original, but it's uh, inspired by right, like. Um, Animal Crossing characters, but I kind of have an idea of like the next environment like fully thought up from like my brain that I want to do Holy shit, we are burpy right now <laughs> I think it's it is be it 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 is be wow. I'm having a stroke. It is the single beer that I had <laughs> Oh my gosh, did I? Oh my god, I mean, okay, okay. What's the idea? I guess it's like not a specific, it's not specifically an idea, but like I, um, or sorry, as in like it's not a particularly special space, but I kind of had a narrative idea for like this little, uh, for like a, uh, 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 uh this little, this little cat. Oh my god, I was having a stroke. I was like, what's the animal? The meow meow. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't actually say the meow meow. Instead, I'm talking about how I almost said the meow meow. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's about this little cat living uh, in a family home in Taipei. And I was gonna start working on that family home. Either that, or uh, uh, start working on my thesis. Uh, <laughs> this has got me so stressed out. <laughs> I'm not that stressed out, but also like yesterday after I gave my practice pitch, uh, my classmate, he was like, because I told him earlier in the day, I was like, I'm really nervous, honestly. And he knows, I mean, we're all nervous about what we want to make for thesis, right? Like, we're all trying to... Make, we're all trying to do something in the world, right? Whether it be make the world a better place, but like at the end of thesis, we're gonna have output something into the world, which I mean, we've all done at this point, but like everyone's like, oh gosh, is this like, we got a lot of like, is this gonna be the right thesis for me and stuff like that? So like all of us are a little nervous right now, but since like since I had my preliminary pitch yesterday, afterwards he was like, do you feel better? And I'm like, no, I feel worse, honestly. <laughs> I don't feel worse, but it's a stressful time. That's okay. Also, I just want to be abundantly clear. Despite the amount of like a complaining I do about this, like there's still nowhere else I would rather be. Cause like I do love what I do. It sometimes causes a little bit of emotional anguish, right? And I was talking to Life Fires about this recent, like last night, and he was like, eh, like in periods of growth in our life and like transitionary times, like it's always bound to get a little weird and a little difficult and you're gonna have to adapt to that. And I was like, that's true. That's really true. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Would you ever work on something darker mood-wise? I mean, yeah, I think the funny thing is, um, like... I guess darker is not the right word, but recently I have been experimenting with tapping into negative feelings, because a lot of work I make has very positive feelings. So that crazy letters, like, thing where I started sabotaging the mail, like, that was kind of intended to 
um, make people feel hurt, right? And the funny thing about that is, though, because, like, everyone... Okay, so actually, the outcome of that was, like, everyone was like, Yeah, I kind of did notice I stopped getting, like, stuff at some point, but I thought it was A, technical difficulty, or B, I kind of, uh... Oh, no, no, they just said A, I thought it was a technical difficulty, because they were like, you know, like, this was a very panky experience, like a very wholesome, a very wholesome prototype. So I just figured it was something that just, like, went wrong with the logistics, because it was a lot of crazy logistics planning, right? And I was like, damn, my reputation is, not precedes me, but, like, like, people have this perception that I make the cute and wholesome games, which I do, and I like making cute and wholesome stuff, don't get me wrong, I like making stuff that makes people feel good, but I'm trying to push myself a little bit recently to see what's the other side. It was just really funny that they were like, yeah, we thought it was a, you know, pangy game, it's wholesome, so it's probably just a technical issue. <laughs> and I wasn't mad when they said that either, I was, it was just a very interesting observation. Too much good phase. I figured that would happen. Yeah, I mean the funny thing is, um, I think I so to like I did kind of achieve what I wanted, but it wasn't like to the to the magnitude, right? Because people kind of were like, yeah, I did open my mailbox, and when there was nothing there, I did feel a little let down. But then my brain rationalized it, and I was like, so you did actually feel the the intended emotion to some extent. It's just that. It needed a little bit more development for it to really hit home. And, like, there's some things that could have been, like, that should have been tweaked about the experience uh, for it to actually hit home. But it was kind of, like, nice that people were kind of like, I did, yeah, I did feel a little bit upset when, like, I opened it and there was nothing there. Um, and actually, one classmate had a really funny observation. Um... I don't think people, most people assume malicious intent. Well, the thing is, it, the, like, for sure, people weren't meant to assume that I was sabotaging, but they were meant to be kind of like, why did this person just start ghosting me? Like, they were supposed to kind of feel that. A little bit of confusion and upsetness over just, like, the random betrayal of someone, like, they shouldn't have cared about because it was a stranger. But, um... The other funny thing that actually came up was, um, so one of my classmates, he really did notice that, um, so everyone had a scheduled timetable, right? Oh, I did not mean to drag it all out like that. Everyone had a scheduled timetable, and the funny thing about that was I had one friend who, who literally told me, well, that that was also Chinese New Year that, that weekend. And so, like, um, and he was like, yeah, I'm going to be busy, too. So I was like, okay, I will assign your experience then for you and your partner to write letters Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And I skipped over Friday and Saturday because, again, holiday. And I wrote that in their instructions, but um, his partner, she mentioned, or I saw, I noticed that she wrote on Friday, but that's because she um, missed, like, she ran out of time and didn't write on Thursday, so she was making up a letter that she had missed. And I actually did notice this. But I was like, it's not a big deal. Because, like, at least, like, the important part was that she got a letter in before he had his next time slot. And the funny thing is, though, he was like, yeah, um, I actually noticed that she, or, like, he didn't know it was a girl, but he was like, I noticed that, like, my partner wrote back to me, um, and even even outside of time slots and at that point I felt a little bit that's when I felt a little bit hurt and betrayed uh like and angry and I felt guilty because I'm not writing this letter but I felt angry because that's when I thought it was Pengi sabotaging me and I was like that's so funny that's so funny that you were angry at me because my presence <laughs> hello <laughs> hello Queek. <laughs> queek, queek. <laughs> oh, have you ever seen that video of the lady trying to pronounce the word queesh? And she's like, I want a queeky. 
<laughs> it's a meme. It's a meme. It's not actually like, but it's it's a meme about like that Korean auntie pronunciation too. But anyways, how you going? Look who rolled in. Oh, did you have something to do with this? Did you did you pull pull rope her in? <laughs> I had to help. I'm a lady this game. I know. <laughs> Good times, man. Good times. But yeah, how you doing today? Thanks for stopping in. It's late for you guys. Well, it's not that late, but it's like late, you know? You got work tomorrow. Thank you for coming by. Oh, actually, wait, what the hell is going on here? Why'd the bridge not work? It didn't miss. Bridge. What the fuck? Oh, because there's a oh, there's a cut. I see. Okay, this should work. But uh, I was gonna say, well, I got you here. Actually, you wanna see uh, you wanna see something? Said you were on and I had to stop by. Thank you. Thanks, bud. I'm giving you guys little finger hearts, but you can't see because I don't have a webcam. But thank you. Appreciate it. I've, I'm so, I feel so bad every time I see you go live because I have my Twitch notifications. Yeah, everybody go follow Gaming Musician. Wait, how do I do the shout out command? I'm, a, I'm an internet boomer. Um, but every time you go live, like, I'm literally like. On, like, or by the time I see your going live notification, I'm like on my way home and I'm like, No, please, I just got off work! <laughs> it's so pain. It hurts a lot. But, good news, next Monday I'll finally be able to tune in. <laughs> I'm living, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm watching via the notifications. Uh. But hell yeah, yeah, I'll, I'm, man, I really want to come by, I'm just, the last three weeks have been absolutely nuts, cause, uh, Minecraft Monday! Minecraft Monday? Oh, whoa, actually, I've never played Minecraft, and I've been wanting to, cause it's so, like, culturally important. Can I, can I maybe hop on at some point? Uh. But yeah, the thing I wanted to show you was my thesis prototype. Because the last three weeks have just been absolutely fucking lutely insane because I was preparing for my preliminary thesis pitch. Which was yesterday. That's not horrifying at all. <laughs> okay, let me open the build. I know your schedule's crazy. Whenever you come, I will literally scream, hell yeah! Oh, you're an expert now? Alright, teach me, because I'm really... I will die in Minecraft. I, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't even know you could die in Minecraft until fairly recently. <laughs> but I'm sure you're doing wonderful things! Here, let me pause the music. I can show you my thesis prototype that I pitched yesterday. Virus and threat protection! Yeah, I'm gonna give myself a virus. Why is it not opening? It opened earlier! Sorry, I'm having a meltdown. I will try my darndest. You know, it's better than anything I can offer, so I will take it. <laughs> but your darndest is enough. Let me... Uh... Oh my gosh! It's about to open 30 copies of the game. Hold up. Let's... Let's start over, because something's going wrong. It shouldn't take this long to open. Huh. Okay, I guess... Okay, yep, no, it's about to open ten copies. Hold up. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let me... Let me close the extras. Okay. Yeah. 
So here we are. I gotta troubleshoot why your game won't load on my computer. Oh yeah, send me a screenshot. I bet it's... Honestly, I bet it's something really dumb. Like, truly dumb. But yeah, here's my thesis prototype. So here's the little dude. Everyone says he looks like a birdie. Like a badminton birdie. User error on my side? I don't think so. I think it's probably... I mean... It's a mix of both. It's probably just like a stupid build thing, and probably just somewhere you have to hit like more info or whatever. He's so stinking cute! He's just a little dude! Oh wait, my cursor. Oh! Why isn't hide cursor working? I hid the cursor! Bruh, I have a bug. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, look at He play hide and seek. Yeah, he's just a little dude. This ribbon movement was so fucking hard to do. It's a hide-and-seek game? No, it oh, hide-and-seek game would be cute though. Wait, actually that would work really well for something like this with the isometric camera. You don't see me. Oh, you see him bouncing. It's not a hide-and-seek game though, so... Uh, oh, that's nice. Uh, you go around and he's got... You found a little, a little sapling and you gotta find some... Thing to oh weird janky collider I think it's because it's a box I should make it a capsule um but yeah you find this little plant and you gotta do something with it oh whoa what's this a oh, well oh yeah this is this is controller by the way it's not a keyboard and mouse you gotta and then <laughs> get some water. And then water the dude. And it grows up. And rinse and repeat. Yeah, there's a couple bugs. The UI is not working totally correctly, but whatever. <laughs> it's functional. And it's no fun there's like no functional core functionality bugs, I think. Please watering. And I feel like you're gonna you're gonna love this next one. I remember some of your early works, and I must say you've come such a long way. Thank you. That means a lot, cause this was so much pain. So validation is really nice. This has been a work in progress for weeks. But yeah, you can. He he. <laughs> it's a bug. <laughs> And then the flower's grown up. It's a beautiful lily of the valley, and now you pluck it! And it gets a little stretched for some reason while you're carrying it. I don't know why, it's a bug. Uh, and then you get to shake it. And yeah, that's it. I haven't had time to implement the next part of the flow, but... <laughs> Got drift. This is adorable. Thank you. The sound is perfection. Yeah, like I actually spent so long on the sound design. Like I spent a very long time listening to different sound clips. Like all the sound is I I, I am using like um like Creative Commons sounds, so like I didn't make any of them myself, but it's like, gosh, I'm realizing, like, I'm realizing I can make a game, or not I can, but like, for my thesis, like, I don't mind, I'd be more okay making a game with shitty graphics, but I don't want to make a game with shitty sound. Empty the recycling bin, it's not letting me empty, what the damn hell. <laughs> okay, whatever. Sound is super important, hell yeah. So... Yeah, I mean, that's where my face is set so far. Hell yeah. You have both here good sound and great graphics. Thanks, I downloaded a package <laughs> for the graphics. I mean, I modeled the character. The character was modeled, um, but everything else in the environment I didn't make, and I used, like, shader effects to achieve, so... But yeah, the, the little dude was, was me, and I spent a lot of time solving some tech issues around him. B 
Utopia. Thanks for watching. I'm legit so excited to play when I can. Hell yeah! It's only like a 12 months wait. <laughs> oh my gosh, the the current third years. The thesis students are like writing their thesis papers right now, and the defenses are coming up in like pretty much exactly two months actually from today. Wait, yeah, two months from today I believe is when the defenses are. Wait, no, are they two months from today? They're I think the defenses are... Wait, the defenses, I think, are roughly the 1st of May. So, okay, okay, not quite two months. But, yeah. It's wild that it's getting close. Heck yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make an absolute banger thesis. You know what? I need more of this self-confidence energy. I've been so stressed out recently that it, not stressed out, but just like so like contemplative about what I need to make from or what I wanna make for my thesis. That's just like everything seems like a good idea, but also everything simultaneously seems like a bad idea. You know what I'm saying? But one of the current third years gave me some good advice, and he was like, you literally can't pick wrong. And I was like, that's true. That's true. It's going to be hard to, like, pick a wrong topic for thesis. I mean, the thesis itself might end up bad. <laughs> that's a different story, but, like, there's no such thing as a wrong topic. And that was really comforting. I've been there. Yeah, it hurts. It's it's good kind of hurting though, right? Like every time you every time you learn, your soul grows. Anyways, though, how's your day been? How's your leap year day? Leap day? Anything fun happen? Is this a fun side project you're working on? Yeah, I've been. So this is I'm actually making a house for Abel and. The Abel sisters, so I'm making a little home for Abel and or Sable and Mabel, because I've actually done, I've done the Nooklings and I've done, uh, so this one is Blathers' house. I made a little house for Blathers. I ripped some pictures off the internet that people took using the amiibos, <laughs> and this is the house I made for Isabel a while ago. Oops. And I did make one for Timmy and Tommy, but it's very poorly- like, I haven't done any lighting or textures on it yet. So it looks real bad. <laughs> like, look at this. It's so ugly. Compared to like, ah, uh, lighting. Ah, uh, lighting. Ah, uh, lighting! <laughs> did you say Animal Crossing? I did indeed. This is Isabel's house. Like, this is what I think Isabel's house would look like if she had one. <laughs> she presumably has one, but... And this is the house I imagined for Blathers. Huh. These are incredible. Thank you. I spent a lot of time on them. So I really appreciate that. <laughs> Yeah, and yeah, to, an to, to answer the question, these are like just like little fun side projects that I do just because uh, de stressing is important. It's kind of cursed that like my hobby is related to my work, but uh, we don't talk about that. <laughs> Without work, I'm a personality list blob. <laughs> but no, no, no. That was that was that was full sarcasm. I do love, I do love doing it, which is why I do it in my free time. Just came up a whirlwind. Whirl whirlwind week where my whole team came in for 2.5 day gone. What? That's crazy. Holy. 
How late were you in the office? Now I'm more like, hopefully you didn't have to pull like crazy overtime. This is everything. Thank you. I love it. I just, I love working on it. It really is like a huge source of like relaxation and fun for me. Imagine, uh, Jackie in 10th grade could never! I had to present? <laughs> Nuts, but good. There were evening activities like dinner and stuff and visiting customers, so I normally didn't get home until past nine! That's... Well, I'm glad, I'm glad it was enjoyable. I'm glad you got, like, nice, like, dinners and stuff out of it, too. But, whew, have a rest this weekend. Deserve it. Working too hard makes me want to vomit. <laughs> But congrats on getting it all done, too, and... Can you... Just, like, thinking about it, like, how much, like, we've changed as people in, like... Oh my god, a decade now, actually, if you think about it. No! 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 <laughs> no! Oh, but, you know... We grew up, kind of. <laughs> I'm still a little shithead, but you know. <laughs> it's funny, time is really funny. Don't make me emotional. Oh, I'm gonna make you emotional. <laughs> You're so right. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, just like time is always gonna do its own thing, and it's like, it's not honestly. Like, I, I was actually literally just earlier, I was like, oh my gosh, it's already week eight of the semester. My gosh, I'm already more than halfway through, like, the, we're all more than halfway this semester. Like, I'm already more than halfway through, like, my graduate program. That's cra- like, now that's what's insane. Like, it's just so fast. Slow down, like... You're telling me I can't, like, fuck around and find out anymore? I need to pick a thesis topic and make something? Yeesh! got to feel wild. It's weird. Not gonna lie, it's weird. Do not enjoy it. <laughs> but good things. Good things are coming. It's a good problem to have. Absolutely, hell yeah. Like, I'm, I'm good friends with a lot of the people who are like the third years right now, who are actually like going through 
writing the actual thesis papers, which is like really stressful because you have to write like a 20 page paper. Uh, and it's just kind of like surreal almost. Like, I mean, I, for, I can imagine for them, but like just realizing that like, well, like that'll be a position me and my cohort is going to be in soon. Just weird. <laughs> ah, okay, this is too much thinking. Gotta turn the brain off. <laughs> Thinking is overrated. Who needs thinking? For real, I like having a smooth brain. My brain is so fucking smooth. Like, you could sled off of it like a mountain. What? That didn't make sense. My brain has zero friction. Smooth brain, yeah! I will. I live to be a happy dummy, truly. Got any fun plans this weekend? Oh, hello! Hope you guys are doing well. I gotta go, so stay safe out there. Thanks, Snow, but thank you for stopping in to say hi! Actually, it's been a while, I think, since I've seen you. Hope you're taking care and big chillin'. Big chillin'. Oh my god. Okay. There, you get your slurp and you get your posture check. I'm gonna. I'm not standing because I'm a little tired today, but I am sitting up comfortably. I'm not even sitting up, I'm like leaning back in my chair, but my posture is good. My, my spine is straight. Buying the new ant. Wait, there's the Animal Crossing Legos? Hold up, we gotta go look at this. No. Dismiss. Okay. Oh, the Isabel Lego is cute. Why is she not wearing her New Horizons outfit, though? Oh my gosh. Oh, I love. I love. I love the, the Nook stop. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I kind of need this now too. No! No! Oh my god, my bank account! It's kind of the new game, but definitely pulls inspiration. I mean, yeah, Isabel's outfit is uh, the more classic Isabel outfit. But, oh my gosh, this is a need! Oh! Don't make me buy this! I love it! I want it! Oh my gosh, it's so cute! You guys are gonna... Send me pictures! Send me pictures when you get it, and uh... Once it's assembled, I wanna see pictures! Hell yeah! I will live vicariously! That's awesome though, those are so cute! I'm so excited for you guys! It's gonna be so much fun! 
Holy shit, why am I snoozy? It's literally not even late, I'm just a boomer. Just needs me for the fat discount. <laughs> no, 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 yes, nah, <laughs> nah. <laughs> it's okay, this is a judgment free zone. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, I'm just messing with you. I, I know, I know, I know, I know, I'm just trolling. What you got going on this weekend? I am going to sleep. I am so tired. <laughs> yeah, because preparing for the preliminary pitch was exhausting, getting my prototype together, and we also, like, in general, like, across the next five weeks, like, we can set our own schedule, like, we, we can choose when we want to turn stuff in, but across the next five weeks, we have a lot of documentation due for a thesis. We have, like, the macro do the we have the prior art paper do we have the five minute experience do we have oh so much but it's like good stuff I'm not like complaining it's just like a lot of work upcoming slash a lot of work this past week excellent hell yeah I mean I'm down actually wait do you want to play phasmophobia this weekend because I literally have big plans to not leave my house let's let's do it if you have if you're around we should play phasmo uh yes hell yeah i downloaded it i have not yet played wait really okay wait um how oh gosh i might have to update um but i have hella money Yeah, I haven't played in a couple months, so probably cool patches to download, but let's see. Seems on sale of Dead Cells? What is this? Five Nights at Freddy's? I wanna, I'm gonna maybe watch the movie on the weekend. I've heard it's just unadulterated fun and chaos. Pokemon with guns! <laughs> Gonna rely on you, don't worry, I'm, I'll be sugar mama. The bed we made? Uh, I f oh wait, let me look it up real quick. The bed. I feel like I've heard this before. Yeah, okay, I do know this. You actually told me about this, I think, because the poster looks familiar. Oh wait, maybe it wasn't. I'm watching the gameplay trailer. Oh, I actually don't know what this is, never mind. It's just the art style looks a little familiar. But no, I've never seen this before. 9 out of 10, though. Hell yeah. It's a mystery game. I... I No, so I don't I don't play that many mystery games. But I do love detective games. I really ought to... Is this, a, is this one that you played recently? I feel like you'd really like the story and you're a maid playing detective. All right, all right. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my gosh, Phasma. Oh, whoa. New splash screens. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wow, this is really different. They've updated a lot of, like, the intro cinematics. Except, yeah. Whoa, it's lagging. Whoa! I think there's a jump scare if you walk up to this door, if I'm not mistaken. 
Whoa. Okay, it's probably because I have Maya open and stream and everything, but I'm getting hella lag. But yeah, how much money do I have? How do I... Wait, I hit accept, right? Yeah. Yeah, look at how much money I got. <laughs> I'm ready to poop myself. Hell yeah. Okay, let's close out because it's causing me hella lag. It can be completed within a stream too. Okay, wait. Don't stop with the audio. Add to my wish list. Hell yeah. Oh, it's really new too. All right, sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in my wish list. I'll stream it, and next time I stream it, I'll be like, "Queen, join!" <laughs> You're rolling in it. I've played a lot of this game, <laughs> not in a while, but like for uh, a while there, a couple years ago. Like, during, I think, about the peak pandemic, actually, like, summertime of that 2020. Oh, I played so much Phasmophobia. <laughs> played a lot of it with, uh, Sampleton. Oh yeah, we should get him, uh, to play, uh, Phasmo on the weekend, too. I have not talked to him in a while, he seems kind of busy lately, so hasn't, uh, haven't seen him around. I didn't rename it to Z Building Floor, I just named it Z. <gasps> Alright, I'm gonna leave the stream up, but I'm starting to wind down for bed. Hell yeah, for sure. It's kinda it's it's late for you and you still got work tomorrow, so have a good rest though. Thanks for coming by to say hello. Uh, please ping me, hell yeah, 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 yeah. I can't promise it'll be like super soon, because I have so much like other stuff to be playing for. Oh yeah, I'm a lot of video games to be playing to re for my thesis research. Um, but it's true. I have so many games right now that I've purchased that I need to not need to, but like I plan to play because they're like kind of gonna be good basis of inspiration for my thesis. But I will get to it. Maybe like in the summertime or something. Whenever you're going around to it, hell yeah. Okay, bye! <laughs> Have a good rest.
this piano music is getting too snoozy. <laughs> also, I need to like pee real badly. I might dip, sprint it to the bathroom real quick. I also want to put more chapstick on. My lips are dry as fuck today. Where is my chapstick? It's probably on my nightstand. <laughs> Honestly, doing this so stupidly by hand manually is just making me think about, like, uh, groups <laughs> in Houdini. Uh, I don't think, uh, I, th I think I should have a Houdini, Houdini, Houdini uh, student license, but I don't really feel like downloading on this computer. I have so much fucking software on this computer. That's a, that is an insane piece of logic, now that I think about it as well. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go sprint to the bathroom real quick. Hee <laughs> hee! Alright, I'm back. Our house is huge. <laughs> Not showing up in this scene. Okay, weird. Weird. Okay. Alright. Oh, 
I missed some of the stairs, that's fine. Oh, I spelled pillow without a W. <laughs> I mean, pillow doesn't need the W, but still, it's kind of funny. <laughs> Oh my god, I just wanted to scratch my eye and I pulled out like five eyelashes at once. Holy! My eyelids are naked! They're balding! Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
You're gonna call it Chunky Cat. Oh, Chunk? I'm making so many typos today. Uh. Chunky. Like this, I don't like because I I don't know why I tend to do materials at the end. Like I model everything and then combine everything and inevitably have to inevitably have to separate it to assign materials. I don't really know why I do this, but honestly, it's kind of inefficient. I think it'd be faster if I just did materials at the same time as the model. So <laughs> something to think about, actually. <laughs>
didn't import everything, I think. Oh, it did! Oh, nice. Okay, okay. Why is there so much parent trans geometry floating around? Oh, the mattress is not there! Oops! <laughs> I think it's because I forgot to select it, because I separate. yeah. Because I, se I didn't realize it was separated. I mean, I separated on purpose, and then I forgot that I had separated it, so... I feel like they would have some sort of granny pattern on the couch. funny because I modeled everything in Maya, right? It should feel to scale, but it feels like the bed is really tiny. <laughs> Thank you. 
know, gaming musician, I just saw your message. Not the mattress! The horror! The horror! I'm not gonna lie, I didn't realize I could go that high! <laughs> A little bit cursed. Oh! Oops, this one. Oops. <laughs> I had the wrong uh, window selected. I was like, why isn't the file opening? Why is copy and paste not working between... That's weird. Control C was broken, man. So wait, yeah, let's actually set up the world materials real quick, correctly. Uh, shader here. World, I think? Yeah. Let's see if this works. Yeah, it doesn't work on the nodes for some reason, but okay. Damn. There we go. What is that? Oh, uh, which render we use? Oh, cycles. There we go. Now that's better. Bad Australian accent has entered the chat. We can afford to have render mode on right now because it's um, still a fairly low number of polygons in the scene, so. Purple, pink, magenta, so yeah, maroon. Let's try something a little bit darker and more purpley than what we have right now. Yeah, 
That feels Abel's is enough. Abel's is. Oh, I'm getting tired. I think I might end stream soon. Just cause, yeah, on, so oh, on Sunday we streamed for like four and a half hours too, which was crazy. I hadn't done a stream that long in a while, so I think I'm gonna actually call it a day. Uh, you know, we started getting some stuff into Blender, so... In terms of modeling, didn't even do that much today. There's a lot of stupid stuff, like setting up the stairs. <laughs> uh, but it's alright, so I think next week we'll kind of start working on moving stuff over into Blender to get it ready to be beautifully rendered and stuff. I mean, we're still a while off of being able to actually do the final render, but we are getting to the point where it's start to migrate stuff over, I think. What is that? Wait, is that on my screen, or...? It's a root of something. Bye. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, it'll be nice getting stuff into it. Like the kitchen, I think, going in will look really nice, always. So. Is it on? Oh, there we go. Don't say. Here, actually, I'm kind of annoyed with the total amount of blank space in that part, so we're gonna get the kitchen over. Oh, but... Oh, right, since these were taken assets from elsewhere, most of them are textured, though, so... Most of it is textured correctly, yeah. Oh, that was like exactly the end of the sub the playlist too. So yeah, we'll we'll listen to pretty much one more run of the song I really liked earlier. The zin 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 say uh, uh, cover. And, uh, yeah, no, it's about time to call it. I think after that, I'm tired. Sorry to be a broken record and literally just like keep saying I'm tired, but I'm a, I'm a little burnt out recently. I'm not gonna lie. Which, honestly, like, it will say burnt out is kind of rare for me, because, like, I definitely tend to have a lot of fuel in the tank, if that makes sense. I don't get, like, super tired super easily, but I also, like, usually, you know, have enough time for myself all the time, because I spend a lot of time at home and not socializing, <laughs> so, you know, for the sake of my sanity. So if I'm getting burnt out, I'm like, damn. Let's... Must be really tired. Yeah, that's cute. Anyways, yeah, that's it for me for today. Tired. <laughs> Are you tired, bro? No, I'm not tired, bro. You're tired. Also, yeah, wait, you should go to bed. It's late! <laughs> Am I a boomer for saying that? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> getting old, man. I'm not even that old, but I'm getting old! Ow, my elbow. That was my elbow. No work tomorrow, bless. Oh, hell yeah. Preach. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to bed, because it's still only 8 8.30 for me. But, you know, I want to go, like, 
chill for a little. And yeah, like, my, my voice has been really strained this whole week. A lot of talking. So, anyways, thanks everybody for coming by! It was good seeing everyone as always. Uh, what's the next stream gonna be? Next stream is gonna be Sunday, probably. There is a small, very small- wait. No, 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 oh, okay, wait, wrong Sunday. <laughs> thank you, streamer! No, thank you! You know, are you a streamer without viewers? <laughs> it's like the, if a tree falls in a forest, right? If I stream and there's no one here to experience it, is it still a stream? That's kind of a weird curse thing to say. Um, but no, but thanks for coming by to hang out. Appreciate it as always. And I will do my best to tune in on Monday because I want to fucking learn how to play Minecraft and get carried. Can you get carried in Minecraft? I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> But yeah, next stream is gonna be Sunday. We're gonna probably be playing another game, like a short game, uh, as I do my secret <laughs> research. Uh, but yeah, thanks again, everyone, for coming by. Have a good rest of your days, and I will see you all on Sunday. Bye. Bye. What is that? What is that voice? Okay, bye.